Um, yeah, Miami, L.A., you know, anywhere, honestly, out of the country. For me. Yeah. Everywhere. How old was I gonna start making music? Um I was like I think I was in fifth grade or fourth grade. I I be, I be, only time I move with security, bro, is if I go to shows. I go to shows, bro. Um, when I'm out for me, I'm always masked up. My hoodie on, hoodie on, for me. I just for me, I stay, I stay local to myself type shit. But when I'm going to shows, that you're gonna see me with security and shit. For me, my boy, shout, shout out, shout out to my boy, my boy Trey, bro. For me. One superpower, bro. If I had one superpower, bro, it would be. Hmm. I would be. It would be immortal type shit. Because, motherfucker, I can't die at all. It's going to be impossible to kill me. Motherfucker. My go-to meal is, you know, you know, I might, I might hit in there, eat a little, you know I me, mean, a little twenty-dollar bill, but normally, you know, I try to eat a hundred-dollar bills type shit. You know, I'm just, it's just, you know, that's the type of food I be eating type shit. You know, here and there, I eat a fifty-dollar bill type shit. Um. Message the upcoming youth, bro. Um, you know, be yourself, bro. Um, work hard. You know, do your own thing. You know, save up, put money towards your goal. To me, and be the best that you can be, and go hard, and put yourself out there and do shows and shit. Simple. Yo, um, nah, bro. It's just when, 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 when you make music, bro. To me, listen to your shit a lot, bro. It's gonna motivate you to make more music, bro. To me, try to try to like search real good for beats that fit you, bro. To me, try to go for like for. You know your type of category you're going for. See me, I'm going for. I'm going for underground category. Cause the underground people, it it's like the biggest fucking category ever. I'm gonna be having people underground like mosh pit parties underground and shit, bumping my shit, rock, the art, everything, bro. Well, Hard metal, everything be bumping my shit, bro. Hip hop, all that shit. They really be bumping my like you know people that be like <laughs> act like fucking zombies shit, kicking each other, they gonna be bumping my shit. They be at fucking shows punch, punching each other and shit, they gonna be bumping my shit. I try to reach for crowds like Travis Scott or play with Cardi crowds. Like big crowds. I'm talking about the crowds, not the music, the crowds. They go hard for it, bro. Like, for me. And when I perform my shit, my, my energy is off the roof. Nigga, I don't give a fuck if you're not going crazy with me in my shows, nigga. I'm going crazy. My biggest inspiration. 
like, is it Drake who inspires you to rap? Uh, let's see. My biggest inspiration gotta be myself. Or, or probably to the play by Cardi or Travis Scott, bro. Just their fucking, like I said, just their fucking crowds and their fucking supporters, bro. It's crazy, bro. I'm trying to fill up a whole goddamn a state. Like, just for a show, bro. Like, if I do a show, like, I want, like, the look, like, I want the crowd to look, like, damn near everybody in the fucking state just came. Like, dead ass. Where's Waldo type shit? No, not really. Only time I would wear that shit is if I go out to, like, eat or something, bro. But if it's, like, just out and, like, doing shows and shit, no, there's literally no point. I feel like... The rap industry currently? I feel like... I feel like the rap industry currently is... You know, it's weird. It's like, it's like on and off, like wishy washy, bro. Like, you gotta find a right, a right time to enter it. Cause a lot of shit be going on, bro. And it'd be weird. Like, there'd be weird rappers and shit, like all that. And there'd be rappers just trying to start shit to, like, get their shit up. You know what I mean? Like, there's rappers that try to start, like, drama or something to help them out because they're, like, falling down or something. Or try to find, like, a little leather to get their self up. See? I don't know, so it's weird. Um. I would not... All right, let's get into politics. I would never pick Trump. Um, I mean, honestly, I probably wouldn't pick. You hate all black people. <laughs> <laughs> bro, if you guys didn't know, bro, Donald Trump is. It, bro, Donald Trump is racist, bro. He don't like black people, bro. I'm going to let you guys know. I'm so dead ass, bro. You guys can literally, bro, with everything he's done and has said, bro, he, he's, he's racist, bro. It's just how, it's just, it's just, it's just the fact, like, it's in your face, bro. He can, he can do all this little shit he wants to, bro. It's, it's, it's a front to get people off his ass, bro. And not be hated by everybody. To me, you, you might see him, boom. You might see him with these rappers and shit, bro. Fucking Kanye West or whatever, bro. Bro, this shit is just an image to put on, bro. <laughs> TNB Rock and the Ticket Out shit. Um, damn. Yo. I'm not gonna lie, bro. When TNB died, bro. That shit was crazy, but like to me, it didn't it didn't really do nothing to me. Like it made me emotional or anything, but it was just like, damn, that shit crazy. Like I used to listen to this nigga every fucking day in middle school. Like the same song I was on repeat, bro, was selfish, bro. Like that's the only song I had on my phone. I'm dead ass. I used to listen to that shit every single day. And when I had my little crush in high school, bro, I would listen to that shit, and that shit would give me so much confidence. And when I walked up to her, bro. The song motherfucking end and all that confidence went away, bro. And I just, for me, kept playing that shit. Like, bro, like, that shit was really, like, I'm selfish. But I was motherfucking, 
I wasn't in my feelings, but I was motherfucking yelling at bitch. And everybody knew me for that song, bro. Like, I had girls sing that shit too, bro. Like, that was my theme song, bro, when I walked to school, bro. Like, I was playing that shit every fucking day. There wasn't really no other PMV song I played, but it was just that song, bro. Like, I bumped that shit heavy, bro. But that shit was crazy, bro, when he died, bro. I... My celebrity crush? Damn. Damn, celebrity crush? Fuck no. I know. I know. My celebrity crush? My celebrity crush got to be this, 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 this TikTok girl. No, you probably know her. Probably don't. Her name is Positive Ida, bro. Like, she, 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 she bad. That's my crush type shit. That's my crush type shit. <laughs> um, what's the beverage to go with your drink, your go-to meals that you love? Bro, go-to beverage, bro. Gotta be a motherfucking for me it's Sprite from McDonald's. Sprite from McDonald's? Yeah. That shit is motherfucking cancer right there. <laughs> that shit is so motherfucking strong, bro. Like that's like a goddamn that's like vodka. <laughs> I like how it burns the back of my throat. Hey yo! What? Hey yo! What the? Yo, what is it? Um, yeah, I fuck with strip clubs, bro. You know, strip clubs is not bad for me. Like, no, some like when I be going to strip clubs, like I don't be. I don't be spending money. Facts. I don't either. I be, I be going that bitch like, just chilling and shit, like, for me. No. I, I be, sometimes I be like, yo, I can do a video on this shit type of shit. So I be acting, I'm like, I start fucking with the owner shit, like, yo, like, let me get cool with them, like, yo. Yeah, I can do. Film, exactly. Do a little video on that type of shit, for me. And then the bitch is like, I, the bitch is there, I be, it's either I be, I be, I be using them for, like, networking and shit. Somebody, I, I can use them for like a video or something type of shit, or whatever. But in the video or whatever, or like for me, even I just talk to. I don't be like, but I get in that, bro. Like they, every every bitch fuck with me, bro. Like not like that. Like y'all think like, oh yeah, this bitch fuck with me. Like she's looking at me. Like she, nigga, that's her job, motherfucker. Like they, like I talk to them, bro, and like boom, simple. I'm having flashbacks from watching stripper YouTube videos now. Bro. <laughs> The dude was like, he was like, bro, she is not your friend, bro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Like, they actually be fucking like, bro, niggas, they give me their their, their, their number or whatever, and then outside of work, like, they be, they be like, they answer. They, they, they want to call, answer me, call me and shit, text me and shit. You feel me? If you really trying to fuck, though, like, you got to do that shit, like, like, when they're all, like, when they're, about to get off of work but like yeah it's like shit will, from the youtube video that i learned stripper always lies and she's not gonna tell you when she gets off work apparently from what the youtube video says she yeah no she gets off at three or even though she gets off at one bruh like this might not want to get followed or something yeah yeah no yeah like following a stripper before like i'm for real me, like i'll I'll follow a stripper to dick her down. Oh, God. Bro. Shit is crazy, bro. Like, no, but they be fucking me. I be, I be, for me, simple, simple shit I do, bro, they don't fuck with me. Like, bro, I have a strategized shit that I always use, bro, to get for bitches to fuck with me, bro. If she so. was down to give it up, though, like, I wouldn't yeah. like, rape her, but, like, if she, if I was, like, following some stripper bitch after she got off of work or something, and she was, like, down with it, you feel me, to let me get in the whip or some shit, that's some. That's some motherfucking. Yeah. Some motherfucking. Yeah. 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 Yeah
some Pornhub shit, some X videos. <laughs> I think it's on role playing. <laughs> no, nah, but number, number number one thing I do is I just make them laugh type shit. So simple, I just play around with them type shit. I don't even like talking to them, bro, because I'll just want their pussy. So like, they like they'll, they'll walk, so they just walk up to me in the club and shit. I haven't been there in a minute, but they'll walk up and be like, "Hey, you want a lap dance or some shit?" Like, yeah, you feel some like you feel me the. I don't even know, bro. What I do is I get bitches hooked on me. That's that's my thing. I get bitches hooked on me, type shit. Like boom, I might, I might, I might. How you be doing it though? Cause you have to like throw, give money at the same time. I don't even gotta give money. That's one thing I don't give money. I was in there, what? Look, feel me. I'll be following strip clubs. This is my the dude, the manager. This is in New York somewhere. I'll be following this shit tonight. Niggas could pull up. Um, yeah, like, what's it called? How do you feel about it when you're at a strip? You ever been to a strip club before and a bitch is just dancing on stage and nobody's throwing money and she's just like dancing? Is it funny to you? Or do you feel bad? Um, bitch, are you really, what are you doing with your life? Are you like, how do you feel about it? I, I kind of don't feel in that type of way because I feel like, I feel like it's just like, it's 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 supposed to be like that. Like you know, it's it, they you can throw money. To, right? Yeah, they don't have to throw money, but like for me, but no, I feel like like they get mad though. Some of them will start like <laughs> being like, throw some money. You know I mean? like, yeah, it's because the, the young ones. I've been there, and they be I've been there with like. Tell me a couple other niggas my age, and they'll be like, "Come on, throw yeah. some red." They'd be like nineteen and shit, and they'd be bad as hell, and they'll be like, "Bro, come on, throw some." That's cause red. that's cause like friend too trying to hustle. That's cause it's like it's like a regular nine to five. Like you're 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 set a time you're supposed to be working. Same as a strip club, they're set a time they're supposed to be go out and dancing and shit. And time where they get they're, they're still getting paid for it, but their pay is like you know hourly working. You know, plus the um the the people throw at them and shit, and then you know, like the like I mean the money they get from the niggas and shit, plus the hours they work type of shit. So if niggas throw money like at the end. I think some strip clubs do this. They might at the end all what people all all the girls made type of shit. They set up they get all the money and then count it out and then set a percentage type of shit. They give a percentage. Saying bring money into the strip club. Personally, I don't care because I'm young. I told the stripper straight up, I'm like, I'm 18. She's like, oh, I'm 28. She's like, what are you doing in the club? I'm like, I'm just chilling in the club. <laughs> this dude runs a strip club. He's got a famous page and shit. And he just makes strip club videos. But if you go to a strip club, bro, like... He runs one. <laughs> And you think about getting money, like throwing money and shit, but like, don't just waste it all. Yeah, don't don't like like let them work for that shit. I mean, like, yeah. like let them feel like they 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 slaving for that money type shit. Like for me, let them let them earn that shit. For me, have your guard up type shit. For me, they're gonna be like, oh, for like two more dollars, like nigga, no. Tell me the dudes will go up and sit in the chair, close up, and start like. Exactly. Like, they they spe- they they especially go for the old white dudes, bro. Yeah, if he like, if he like, and they be falling for it every single time. Exactly. They be like, they be like, come on, little hundred dollars. You know you got a little more hundred dollars. Like, yeah. bro, they be falling for that shit, bro. That should be hilarious, bro. Bitch, be, yo, some bitch. I went to the strip club. Bro, some bitch was like, you want to dance? I'm like, I was like, bro. I should I should talk like yo. I was like, yo, give me a three. Like, I'm like, yo, give me a spin. She's like, a spin? She's like, come on. Like, you saw me when you walked in. I'm like, mm, I saw you? She's like, yeah, you was looking at me. And I was like, she's like, you know you like, you know, you know, wanted to dance, like, when you look at me. Like, I, I'm like, bro. Now, nah, she was old, bro. She was old. She's like, I saw you come in here. I'm like, she's like, she's like, I know you saw me. I'm like, bro. 
She, I was like, so what if I didn't see? She was like, you'd be crazy if you didn't see me. I'm like, so you'd be crazy if you didn't see me. So you, so that means you're crazy too. She's like, no, I saw you walking in and out and everything. Like, I'm like, bro, you're a liar. Like, that's your job. Like, you, you lied to get elected. <laughs> She's like, no, I swear to God. I'm like, give me one more spin. She did a spin. I'm like, no, I'm good. She's like, okay. She walked off. Then my boy, my boy got hooked to, you know, how to tie shit. But like, for me, like, y'all just can't. I just can't do that, bro. Don't get hooked to pussy. Oh. Uh, how do you feel about the music in, like, in strip clubs around here? Like, the music is not up to par with, like, our age and generation. It's, like, old cowboy, um, fucking mm. hillbilly music. And it's, like, red hair, red hair girl dancing music. Like, oh, my God. Tell me. Mm. That's the case that either. I tell them turn on. If that's the case, bro, you know, you can either do this. It's three steps. You can either get, uh, you know, a, a DJ nowadays that knows, like, the songs and shit to DJ there. Or, you know, you can go to the DJ, like, yo, like, if if, if you want niggas to throw money and shit, like, for me, put on this type of music type of shit. Nowadays, like this, nowadays music type shit. If you want needs the money, cause I'll hear you. You could cap it some, be like, yo, I'll throw like five bands right now. Once you throw some, some, some normal music on type shit, them niggas gonna do that shit. Or you can just be shit to them, like, yo, your shit, you playing ass shit. Like no one's fucking with this music. No one's throwing shit. Like no one's no nobody's gonna come here no more. Niggas gonna go and write it, write a whole fucking thing about you, like shit. But they don't care because it's not like eight exactly. year olds going to the strip club. Yeah, no. But they care about money. They'll try the, the whoever like security guard works the club will be like they'll just be a dickhead to you. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't have problems with a lot of people, and the only people I really have problems with are strip club bouncers. Like they be mean to me. You just got to find a way to get cool with them type shit. Once you get in, then get cool with them type shit. Once they let you in type shit, then, you know, for me, then I try to fuck with them type shit. That way, that way you go again. Then my folks, oh, yeah, I know that nigga. They let you in off the bat. Type shit, they got no problem with helping you out and shit, all that. You know, it's not hard to, like, for me to talk to, like, a security guard for, like, five minutes or something. Shit on fucking Apple. I'll just be using Final Cut Pro. Fuck that shit. Tell me, shit. Takes hella long. Gotta render videos before you actually export. I'm about to end this shit. I should click. You got more to say right now? Do you have anything, some deep topics on the top of your mind that you need to talk about? Uh-uh. All right. Tell them you love Smooth TV, you're coming back, and you're peacing out. Let them know right now. Yo, it's your boy Lil Hitter, man. Um, niggas love Smooth TV. You know that niggas is coming back, you know, and, um, you know, niggas, niggas, niggas not coming back to Smooth TV until like at least 2084. Um, East Smooth need to pay me at least 20 bands to come back, you know, um, you know, niggas love East Smooth and then we out. (laughs)